What's up guys, I'm back for another The Crew 2 video. Today I'm going to be going over a pretty cool feature. It has to do with photo mode. Now, to properly show you this, I have to drive around a little bit first. Not too much, but I'm just going to find a pretty decent picture spot, maybe... Whoa, not the wrong way in traffic, that wouldn't be a very good picture. Maybe like a parking garage or something. A parking garage that doesn't start an event, because I don't want to start an event and get in the middle of an event. Um, maybe this one right here. Maybe I can get in here. Let's see. Oh, I gotta see if I can find an entrance first. <laughs> maybe... Trying not to scratch the car because scratches do show up on the car. Well, oh, I can't get in there. Lame. Okay, well, maybe I can just do it in this little courtyard area out here. I think that would be a pretty nice little setting. Okay, so basically uh, with photo mode... Yeah, that's a decent looking setting, I guess. Um, basically, you press Y on the controller, go into photo mode, and it will freeze where you are um, but you can actually go back in time, which is it's the major feature about this. Now, to do so, you just hold the left D-pad button on your controller. Not sure what the keyboard controls are. I don't really, especially for racing games, I don't really use keyboard controls. Just really weird for driving games. But, so like if you get a really cool action shot in the middle of a race or something and you don't and you you're unable to stop it right there you can actually just pan back and it you can if you just tap it a little bit you can get it to move very slowly as you see here so you can you know if you spit flames or something that's that's the biggest thing that I can think of that us car guys want to get is the cars spitting flames so this is going to be a super easy way to get to that point it won't be like anything else where you have to pause it mid flame spit to get the action shot which is as many of you know is like pretty much impossible so that's that's the major uh, benefit of the photo mode in this game it's it's really really cool something that I really look forward to playing around with and using more now the other thing I kinda want to talk about is actually getting like a good picture now I know I said last time that I don't really consider like in-game photography quote-unquote photography because I do a lot different stuff with my camera personally if you know if you're good at it there's some people that are great at it more power to you I never really play around with it enough to get super good at it but you can apply a lot of photography basics to this and the biggest one is composition one of the biggest things to do with composition is your rule of thirds and basically what that means is you're taking the image you know a rectangular image it's not not like super widescreen or anything but it's it's not perfectly square it's it's rectangular uh, 16 by 9 is typical so you would split that with vertical lines into thirds and you generally want the car or you know the subject this applies to anything not just automotive photography but you want the subject of the picture which you know in this case is the car on one of those two lines that split it into thirds. You want it on either side. You don't want it like I like I have the um, the view right now. You don't want it perfectly centered. It looks weird. It looks weird. It fails to draw attention to the subject very well because even though it's in the center, it's naturally just not really where your eye is drawn. Your eye is going to be drawn to one of the lighter lighter parts of the picture and it's also more naturally going to be drawn to the subject if it's off to one of the thirds as you see here so that is one of the biggest composition things as far as automotive photography specifics you want like for a two-thirds shot like this for example 
or even if you're around the front of the car a little bit more, you want the wheels, you want the face of the wheels pointed towards you. You don't want to be on this side and have the tire pointed towards you. That's it's one. It's a very common mistake, and it's something that you don't really realize you're doing until you see it the proper way, and then you kind of go back and look, and you're like, oh wow, that looks really weird. That just doesn't look right. Now, one thing you can do, like if you want the wheel facing this way for a two-thirds shot on this side, you can have it like this, and then something you can do for this side is just go around the back of the car, that way the face of the wheel is still pointed towards you. You see how n natural that looks? looks very normal and like you know the car is headed that way making a, a right turn so you want the face of the wheel pointed towards you at all times if you do a side profile you don't really want the wheel turned you want the wheel pretty much straight you can get away with that a little more than having the tire facing you and none of the wheel showing or even you know just a little bit of the wheel showing like like you don't want it like like this where you know most of it most of what you're getting is the tire you want generally you want most of the wheel facing towards you it's okay to have a little bit of the tire like if you're over in this area but general rule of thumb have the wheel facing towards you it looks a lot more not better and a lot more natural the other thing as far and this isn't as much composition as it is lighting you generally want the light source coming from behind the camera. So as you're viewing this, you're, you're viewing this from my point of view as if you were standing there looking at the car. Picture yourself standing there in that parking lot looking at the car. You want the light source behind you coming from your back to the car. And this can sometimes create a shadow in real life. Obviously, it's not going to in the video game, so don't worry about that. But just to kind of clarify for all intensive purposes in real life photography, a, another reason I don't consider this like photography because there's a, there are a lot of elements missing. So kind of look around, see where the sun is coming from. Looks like the sun is coming from over there. So I'm typically not gonna wanna shoot that direction. Now, Again, because it's a video game, it works, and it kind of levels everything out. If this were real life, that sun right there between those two buildings would be super overpowering, and the car would be pretty dark, uh, especially if you're shooting a darker colored or a black car. You want the light source coming from behind you like this. Looks better. Um, those are the biggest things I can think of. Lighting, especially if, you know, if it weren't so, like, because right now it's kind of like dawn, the sun is almost down, so it's not going to have as big of an effect as if the sun were, like, midday position. So you, you would have to watch that a little more if you were in an area where it's, like, midday position. Um, you can do, like, this number right here where the car is facing that way, but it's on the left two-thirds, or the left third, I should say. I guess it would be two-thirds. I don't know. You guys get what I mean. It looks a little funny to me. Sometimes sometimes you can pull it off. Just kind of one of those things that I personally am a little bit weird about. I have seen pictures where it looks good. Like this picture, it doesn't look terrible. Especially if you have a better background on your right side. Then it really works. Other than that, uh, I, don't, I haven't played around with this too much. So I don't really know about any kind of settings. Because I know like Forza photo mode has like the pro mode where you can adjust exposure and contrast and all that. That's like picture editing while you're taking the picture, which is yet another reason I don't really consider it like photography, photography. So, are there, oh, okay, there we go. So you can adjust, oh, cool. Okay, tilt, you don't want to mess with tilt you always want the horizon straight. Another good thing I should mention that I didn't think of because Miami is perfectly flat. Oh, okay, this has grid mode, okay. 
perfect. Those two vertical lines there. The other, other lines kind of make it a little more complicated. Uh, if you wanted to get more advanced, you could put the car on the lower right hand plus. That is a little better composition than that right there or that. You don't want a lot of the ground in your picture, but that's a little more advanced, so don't really worry about that quite as much. That is, that's a different rule. I can't think of what it's called right off the top of my head. It's something that I know how to use, but don't really know the name of it. So you gonna turn that back off. Uh, if you're on a hill or something, well, you always want the horizon straight. And in this game, I think the horizon is always gonna be straight because you can't, you can't mess up. It's straight, that's it. Anywhere you go, whether the car is going uphill or downhill, when you go into photo mode, it's not gonna pull up photo mode already tilted going to pull up photo mode straight with the horizon so don't mess with tilt it doesn't make a good picture to have a camera tilted it just looks off it looks funny just please don't do it it doesn't look right other than that vehicles show mud oh show vehicle you can turn the vehicle off oh that's kind of cool for trucks not for a mustang in the middle of the city where there's no mud Vehicle damage? Oh! Why would you want that? That's a great feature. That is a fantastic feature. You, you don't want people in the car while you're shooting pictures of the car. Headlights on and off, that's another very good feature. Can turn traffic off. For pictures, I wish you could for normal driving, but I get it, it's a street game, so environment oh okay turn that off oh this is awesome I'm just now discovering a lot of this this is awesome so exposure you can adjust so it's like midday you might want to turn your exposure down a little bit if you're in the in a sunny area I'm in the shade right now so it doesn't really apply right here quite as much I wouldn't mess with brightness too much. I would just do exposure because it'll look a little more natural. Saturation, I wouldn't mess with unless you want like a black and white picture for whatever reason. Like if you have a classic car and you want a black and white picture, then just turn your saturation all the way down. And then when you get done, turn it back up. Having it like halfway desaturated to have like a little bit of color or having it oversaturated, again, just doesn't look right. It doesn't look good. With editing, you always want it. You always want everything in moderation. I don't see much of a reason for focus blur. Motion blur is cool if you're like if you pause it while you're driving. Colorize. Yeah, again, it's just not stuff that really looks good unless you have a very specific use for it. Logo. You can even change the logo. That is awesome. That is so cool. That is so, so cool. Gamer tag. That is so cool. All right, so that's all the settings. Uh, you kind of can see how to use them a little bit. Uh, I ran it a little bit longer than I wanted to, but basically, that's how you use photo mode. That's the cool features of photo mode, and that's how to get a good picture. So just you taking a few of a few real life photography concepts applying them to this even though it's quite different and getting a good in-game picture if you like this video leave a thumbs up if you guys have any more tips or tricks to add leave them in the comments down below otherwise hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time